My name is Captain Alexia Shore and I work in Cold Lake at 417 Combat Support Squadron. I've been in the military for 15 years and flying helicopters for eight of those. For the first seven years I was tactical helicopters out of Edmonton at 408 Squadron and I went to Afghanistan in 2011 and I was flying the Chinooks over there. Did 40 combat missions and got just under 250 hours on that machine. Ever since uh, I can remember I've always wanted to fly. Not so much on the planes or helicopter side, just uh, by myself. When I was in kindergarten, I used to run and jump off the school hill at recess time thinking if I ran fast enough I could fly. And then in grade three I got a little bit smarter and uh, decided to try and make a hang glider. Needless to say I'm not an engineer, it didn't go very far and neither did I. So that was the last time I tried to build an aircraft and then basically I didn't know much about the military before joining and it just turned into a really fulfilling career. Challenging at a lot of times but definitely rewarding and uh, I recommend it to anybody that has a love of flying. Uh, I've been with 417 for one year and I've had two real call outs, uh, first being a small plane crash and just a few weeks ago we went up to Fort McMurray to help out with the fires. I was involved in the real SAR call out that we had there. It was one lost person on an ATV. If you've ever driven in a snowstorm, uh, looking at the taillights in front of you and barely seeing the road, you know, the lines on the road, just not a really fun time. You can still do it, but uh, in really dodgy weather, it's definitely not the most pleasant flying, especially with so much traffic in the area. There was a lot of water bombers and also helicopters that were doing water bucketing. Everybody's supposed to be up on radios and giving position reports and talking at all times. On any given time, you could see you know, upwards of 15 aircraft just in your immediate vicinity. So it was, it was very, very busy. And, Honestly, the, the busiest I've heard the radios um, ever, pretty much. Myself and my crew went out looking for just over an hour before we ran out of fuel and had to return. And fortunately, the second crew that came out uh, was able to locate him, land, pick him up, brought him back home to his family. So it was a really good success story for us, and we were happy to hear that uh, he was okay. Even if it wasn't me that found him, it would have been nice, but I'm glad it was, it was somebody else that came in afterwards. Anything we can do to help the public or the military uh, in Afghanistan, it, it was good for us. Every time we got to fly, it just meant there was more people that didn't have to drive on the road. So just feeling that we could really make a difference in some people's lives and get them out of some harm's way um, was good. And yeah, like I said, with the fires, we were just on call for anything they needed.